Hello everyone, welcome to today's class. In today's class, we will start our journey of programming in C++. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Activate the notification icon so that anytime a new video is posted, you will be notified. So go ahead, subscribe, and then activate the notification button. In today's lesson, we'll be talking about the structure of our C++ code. We we'll talk about headers and IO streams. We we'll talk about using the namespace STD. We we'll also talk about functions and how our C++ code would be structured. In our last lesson, we we're able to install code blocks successfully and even create our first C++ program. What you see on the screen is the first C++ program that was created by the IDE for us. In today's lesson, what we want to do is to understand what each line in this program means. Let's take a deep dive. This is a simple program that helps or that displays the text Hello World on our screen. In this simple program, we have about nine lines of code. What does each line stand for? We'll start from line one. Line one states that include IO stream. IO stream is the header IO stream. These are derivatives that are included in our C++ program, telling the compiler that we want to make input and output operations. So the IO simply stands for input and output stream. So by including this header, you are able to perform inputs from the keyboard and display outputs to your screen. The next line is using namespace STD. Namespaces are a way that C++ prevents naming conflicts in a program. So when you tell your compiler that you want to use the namespace STD, STD are the standard libraries in C++. These standard libraries consist of many functions. So without stating that you want to use the namespace STD, anytime you use a function within your C++ code, you would have to state the STD class. So for instance, C out and end line in this program belongs to the STD library. So without stating line three, if we want to use C out, then we have to explicitly state standard that's std colon colon c out without this our program will throw the c out as an error because this is not the full name of your function but by simply stating using namespace std you don't have to state this every time you use a function within the standard library. Line five, int main opening bracket, closing bracket. This is the name of our function. For now, the program that we are going to write is very, very small. And all of it almost always will fit within our main function. If you don't know what a function is, don't worry. What I want you to understand this in this lesson is that our C++ programs for now would exist inside a function and the name of the function is main. This main function is where your C++ code would always start execution from. The curly brace here and the closing curly brace indicates the beginning and the end of our C++ program. So all our codes would be between the opening curly brace and then the closing curly brace. This means that we cannot put any code before the curly brace and we cannot put any code after the curly brace. The int in front of the our function name is just stating that when our function is done executing its job, it will return some type of data and the data that it will return is of the type integer. This is the reason why we have return zero as the last item of our program. So 
we are sure that when our program executes successfully, it will get to the last line and the last line will return the integer zero. If there is an error before the return zero, then this line will not even be rich in the compilation. Now let's talk about spaces within your program. We can see that there are a lot of spaces within our program. How does that affect our program? Spaces that have absolutely no effect on our program. Every expression should end with a semicolon. What the space does is just make your code readable to you, the human, but to the compiler, this space has no effect. So we could actually remove all the spaces within our program and it will run very okay. The only issue is that whenever you write an expression, like for instance, we are, we are writing using namespace st, this is a full expression, you should terminate that or you should end that with a semicolon. This is equivalent to writing your sentence in English. This is a boy and then ending that sentence with full stop. So anytime you write a sentence, for lack of a better word, in C++, that sentence should end with a semicolon. This is how your compiler knows that this is the end of your sentence. And so like you can see here, we have C out, a double less than, and then hello world. So C out in this case is a way of us telling our compiler to display. So if you want to display something to the screen, you use the code C out. So C out and then a double less than and then hello world. The hello world is put in quotes because it is a string. What I mean by this is that whenever we put something in a string, we are telling the compiler that display it as it is just as we have written it and so it will display the words hello world again you can see that after the hello world there is a double less than and then there is end l or what we call end line what this does is that it's just telling your compiler or it's just telling your program to move to the next line after it has displayed the words hello world so with these explanations we can now safely say that we understand everything in the code that was generated for us and we are now ready to start writing our own code.